Hey, what's up? This is Big Grime, and today we're going to talk about multi sampling in the Kronos. When I mean multi sample, meaning that you can take any instrument, whether it be a mono synth or poly synth, and put it in the Kronos, and it sounds good. We're talking about different methods that you could use, but I came up with a strategy I felt like is very efficient and you can do no matter what. You know, there's no software or anything you have to buy. If you have a keyboard or software you want to sample in the Kronos, you can do it. Let's get into it. We're gonna cover a few other methods because I'm sure I'm gonna get comments saying you can do this or that. So we're gonna cover a few methods that you can use to multi-sample in the Kronos. Method number one, you can load WAV files in the Kronos. So if you already have um, a multi-samples of waves, you can put it on a thumb drive put it in the back of your Kronos and then load it up that way. The problem with that is it takes a long time, especially somebody like myself who already have a lot of user waveforms in here. So when I load a new one, I have to skip through the different pages of waveforms just to get to the new one for every key. So that can be very time consuming, especially if I have a multi-sample to where I sampled every key. It takes a long time. It takes way too long. Um, I wish Korg had arranged it where it's in, on the first page in the front so that way I don't have to scroll through all my other samples to get to the new ones. So you can do that, but honestly, I think you'll get tired of it. It's, the sample management on here is not that great when it comes to that way. And th you can't do it on software. They don't have a software that's that you can manage your samples on the Kronos. If, if that was the case, then that would definitely make that a lot easier. Um, but they don't have it. Sample conversion software. So let's just say you have um, a sound bank from Native Instruments or a sound bank from Akaya, um, sound fonts. You can load it into the software and it will convert that multi-sample into a format that the Kronos can use and you can play it like that and it works great that's if you already have waveforms ready available already packaged already mapped out that way it kind of just you just transfer it over to the Kronos so you can't go the software route I think they usually run about 80 to 100 some dollars it's worth it if you want to convert a lot of the different uh, multi-samples so you may want to try that. Another method is just to record it. I can, let's say with the matriarch, I can just hold down the key, record it, and then I can stretch it all over the keys. And that may sound like a good idea. And in some cases, depending on the type of sound and how broad of a range you need to have it, you could do that. Um, if it's a sound that doesn't have a lot of modulation and movements, um, then you could do that, especially if it's just like, you know, a saw wave or just um, something that just sounds flat. This doesn't really have a lot of movement because that way you can sample it in the Kronos and then you can use the Kronos to modulate, filter and all these things. But a lot of times when we're sampling, let's say like the Matriarch, we want the Matriarch flavor in the Kronos. So we want to use all the modulation um, options in the Matriarch. Now with the Matriarch, which is kind of different, it is paraphonic and you can have different pitches on different keys. You really can't do that on the Kronos. So that's not something that I would do. I would just basically um, put it in monophonic mode, create the sound, record it, and then you can stretch it out. But again, it can't have a lot of modulation. Because if it does, then higher up on the keys, the modulation is going to be really fast. And then lower end of the keys, it's going to be really slow. So it's going to sound kind of weird. So it's not the best method for a lot of modulation. Now here's the method that I like to use. So let's say, for example, I want to sample the matriarch. <laughs> You can hear a little bit of modulation in it. And like I was saying before, um, if 
I just sample that one key and stretch it. The little modulation would go faster higher up on the keys and slower on the lower end. So I want to kind of keep the same speed on both ends of the keyboard. So what I actually do is I go to sample mode, click on this arrow and find the empty multi sample. Okay. There's one, and I don't make it a stereo, I just make it a mono. Hit okay. Sorry, I'm starting blank. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to press the key of the matriarch, each key, and record one long sample. So to do this, I go to audio input, check my levels, make sure that it's center since I'm only going in on one input and not both of the inputs. If I was doing both of the inputs and, that, and make it a stereo multi sample, which that would probably be the most ideal, but just for this example, I'm just going to go through input one. And on input one, I make it to the center and I just basically um, do 64 and hit enter and it centers that input so that way you can hear left and right. Now on the bus select up top, I'm going to select the left and right. So when I go to the Kronos sample record button, well, excuse me, first, I'm gonna change the sampling start. Cause I don't want it to trick, I don't want it to start sampling when I hit the, the stop and start sampling button. I want it to start sampling once it passed the threshold. So that way I can kind of just get myself together and be ready. So it only will record when the Kronos hears sound. So I hit my sample record. I can hit the start. It's not sampling yet until I actually start pressing the key. So the trick is when you're sampling each key, cause I'm gonna sample each key, is to have a pause in between each key. Don't quickly go to the next key. So you hear what I'm talking about. Stop recording. Now, when you go to sample, you'll see the different notes. So if I press the first key on the Kronos, it's gonna play back everything I did. All on one sample. So you can see the breakdown of each key. Now, the reason why I said have a pause in between each key is because now what we're going to do is let's go to loop edit. You can unselect loop because we don't want it to loop. Come to the top right corner and we're going to time slice. 
Now, usually this method is great for drums. So if you have a drum loop and you want to slice the drums and have it placed on different drum sound each key, that's what normally this is being used for. But in this case, we're going to use it to chop these different uh, keys that I just pressed on the matriarch and have it automatically put it on the keys on the chronos. Now I just leave it as four beat at 40 beats per minute. Now as you see, it slices it. But if you notice, it's way too many slices because really we want each key to have its own slice. So what I would do is turn down the sensitivity and I keep adjusting it until I get to where I want. All right. Still, if you notice the spaces in between the sounds, it's creating a key for those. I don't want that either. So I'm going to keep turning down the sensitivity. Okay, if you notice, I keep going down and down, and it got rid of the spaces in between the different keys. There's still a few left, so I still need to go down some more. All right, so I hope you can see that. Each key has a slice, and now you can actually audition it yourself on the chronos. Let me change the angle so you can see. Doing that, it automatically I only did one octave, but And basically, you would use this method to go up and down the whole keyboard and use this auto slice feature. It will auto slice and place the keys where it's supposed to be. You can hit save. Let me zoom in so you can see. All right, so I hit save. Now, it's the by default, it's going to save it to a program, and it's going to save a sequence into a MIDI track. I just unselect the sequence event. Now, if you already know where you want to put the program, then you can leave that selected, and then you can select where you want to put it. But I usually just do that later. So I'm going to unselect it. And you can leave the rest the same. Hit save. Now, hit exit. Now, I'm pressing keys and I don't hear nothing because it created another program. So I come on to hit this arrow up here. And if you see, it created another program. Or not program, but multi-sample. Hit OK. And there it is. And then you can save it. Obviously, you can convert it to a program right here if you want to. Um, you can do your further edits, your EQ. Um, and as you can see here, it has your different um, multi-samples or your, your different keys.
that you can further edit if you want to. Um, you'll notice too, all of them are a consistent pitch, but it's only for the one key. So it really doesn't matter whether that's selected or not, but the, by default, it'll be selected. Um, that's it. I mean, I, I hope that this was uh, clear enough. If you have any questions, um, maybe I can do like a, a live chat, a live video uh, next time if you have any questions. But generally speaking, this is how I do my multi-samples now. I physically press the keys, use the auto chop to chop the different keys, and it will automatically place it on the key that it's supposed to be. I mean, it's pretty much how I multi-sample in the Kronos when I'm using my different synthesizers, especially like the Odyssey and the Matriarch and um, the Neutron, the Wasp, they all don't have presets. And when I create something that's amazing um, and I want to keep and use it again, I just multi-sample it in the Kronos. So that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, maybe I'll do a live feed if there are a lot of questions on how I'm doing things. Um, maybe I could do a live feed or do another video to further explain certain aspects of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos. I did two and then I kind of fell off, but um, I really want to do a lot more on the Kronos because there's so much about it that I'm still learning. And I know that a lot of people could benefit um, from these different ideas. All right. So stay tuned, more videos are coming. If you have any videos you want me to do, any questions, hit me up, leave a comment, and I'm definitely going to bring you more content. All right, until then, peace.